Mikhail Parsons delves into the intricate textual history of Paul's epistle to the Romans, revealing a nuanced debate among scholars regarding its original composition. This debate centers on the placement of the doxology, a short hymn of praise to God, which varies across manuscripts, appearing at the end of chapters 14, 15, and 16. Such variation led to the hypothesis that Romans might have originally circulated in different forms, ranging from 14 to 16 chapters. The primary point of contention has been the authenticity of chapter 16, especially given Paul's extensive greetings to a seemingly large number of Christians in Rome, a city he had not yet visited at the time of writing. Initially, scholars speculated that chapter 16 was not originally part of Romans, but was instead a portion of another letter, likely addressed to the Ephesians, and was later appended to Romans during the collection of Paul's epistles. This theory was further bolstered by the suggestion that the Marcionites, motivated by an anti-Jewish bias, might have produced a 14-chapter version of Romans by excluding the Jewish affirmative chapter 15. However, contemporary scholarship has shifted towards a consensus that Romans 1.16 was indeed a unified work authored by Paul. This view posits that the epistle's different forms resulted from its circulation and adaptation for liturgical reading within early Christian communities. Scholars now argue that Paul's extensive list of greetings in chapter 16 was a rhetorical strategy designed to establish his presence and authority within the Roman Christian community ahead of his planned visit. This tactic suggests Paul's awareness of, or acquaintance with, a broad network of Christians in Rome, challenging previous assumptions about his knowledge of the community. The evolution of scholarly thought, as outlined by Parsons, underscores a deeper appreciation for the complexities of early Christian textual traditions and affirms the cohesiveness of Romans as a cornerstone of Pauline theology intended for the Roman Church.